Hello mga kawamat! Welcome back to school! So in this video lesson, let us apply your knowledge in algebra to study each graph and classify the types of relation it represents. So the first topic that we have is to determine if a graph is function or not a function. So consider the four uh, graphs. And then we try to draw a vertical line test. So what did you observe? So you will notice that the vertical line will only intersect no? in graph number 1 and in graph number 2 once. Ibig sabihin, itong graph number 1 and 2 natin, uh, isang beses lang nag-intersect itong vertical line dito sa graph 1 and 2. But dito sa graph number 3 and 4, uh, the vertical line intersect twice. So, ilang points yung tinamaan no, sa graph natin? Dalawang beses. So, ibig sabihin, paano natin ma-identify kung saan dito yung function? So, sa apat na yan, only graph number 1 and 2 represent the graph of functions. So, kung babalikan natin, a function is a type of relation between two sets of elements in which each element in the first set there correspond one and only element in the second set. So, like for example, this one. No? If we're going to check our x value, it, rep, uh, it corresponds only y value. But this one, Merong dalawang y value kasi. Let's say, for example, itong x value na nandito. So, dalawa. No, yung correspond niya na y value. And also, the set of x values is called the domain. So, and then, the set of y values is called the range. So, review lang yan. So, to determine if the graph represents a function, is using vertical line test. So, pwede natin ma-determine yung graph kung function ba siya or not a function gamit ang vertical line test. So, again, kailangan isang beses lang mag intersect yung vertical line test natin sa graph. So, I'll give you as uh, 10 items, questions, then each questions, I'll give you 10 seconds. So, sagutan natin. And then, sa comment section, pwede nyo i-share kung ilan yung nakuha yung score. So, let's start with question number one. So, you're going to identify if the graph represent a function using the vertical line test. So, your 10 seconds starts now. Okay, so the answer is not a function. Question number two. Question number three. Question number four. Question number five. Question number six. Question number seven.
Question number eight. Question number nine. And question number 10. So if you got 8 and above, so congratulations. So kung di naman nakakuha ng 8 and above, so pwedeng ulitin natin yung video para naman ma-practice ulit kayo. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.